Welcome back to Heretic Wargaming. So today we have a special guest, Tim again. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. So he actually started playing Chaos. So uh, first time on the channel, we got Chaos vs. Chaos. So I want to thank my buddy John. Thanks, John. Uh, he let me borrow an army while I'm down here in Texas. So um, while Tim is setting up and, and getting his stuff situated, I'll go over my army. So it is a small army, as you guys can tell. Uh, so we start out with uh, three Iconoclasts. So this is an Iconoclast uh, Super Heavy Detachment with the dual Gatling Cannons and two Armagers with the uh, Stubbers and the, the Auto Cannons. That's one. Um, I made this guy a Dreadblade. I haven't rolled what he gets. And I spent two CP, so he gets a Warlord trait, and he gets um, a Relic. So I'll I'll figure that out here. Obviously, uh, he's got a lot of Plague Bearers, so I'm probably going to take the Helm of Warp Sight, but we'll go over that later. We got Magnus over here, doing his Magnus thing in a Super Heavy uh, Ox. And then we have a Battalion of Thousand Sons. We got two units of um, five uh, Rubric Marines, 25 Zangors. We got Ariman on his disc, and then this right here is actually going to be my Demon Prince with uh, dual Malefic Talons, which it's the old Fate Weaver uh, model, which is awesome. It makes me very happy to play it. So, um, And that's my 2,000 points. Very short, simple, and to the point. So we'll go over to Tim and see what he's got. Okay, Tim, what'd you bring? I brought uh, Death Guard Nurgle Demons. Yeah, my favorite. <laughs> yeah, let's we'll start with characters. Okay. Typhus, a Pox Springer, a Spoil, po spoil Pox Scrivener. Okay. Two Foul Blight Spawns, two 10 man units of Pox Walkers, two PBCs with the, the Plague Spitters. Okay. A 20 man uh, unit of Pox Walkers. Three three man units of Nurglings, a twenty seven man unit of uh, plague bears or plague, plague bears. bears, yeah, a thirty man unit of plague bears. Okay, both have instrument and icon. Okay, and then two demon princes. One is of uh, chaos demons, which is this one, and is armed as as you see with dual. Uh, okay, the two claws. Okay, and this one is. Uh, Death Guard. Okay. He will have the Plague Spewer and, okay. and the Sword. Alrighty. And then he has a Separating Plate and, and Arch Contaminant. Separating Plate and Arch Contaminant. Okay. And right. did you spend any extra CP for anything? Do I do that now? Well, you do that pre-game. I've asked for, like, relics or anything. Uh, no, no extra relics. You know you can take the Horn of... Well, that wouldn't help you. It doesn't help you. <laughs> it doesn't I, help I, you against me. I, I, I yeah. have thought about that. <laughs> The Horn of Nurgle's Rot or whatever, uh, yeah. where you get more Plague Bearers back. But yeah, no, against this army, it, it definitely, definitely wouldn't help. So, And uh, so it's double battalions? Two battalions? Two battalions. All right. right, sweet. So <laughs> massive, massive line of Nurgle versus... Actually, this is pretty... This is kind of fluffy, too. You got Zinch versus uh, Nurgle. So I think this will, be, uh, this will be interesting. So me and Tim did talk about it. He said the reason why he didn't add Zinch to his Nurgle is it felt dirty. <laughs> which i agree uh obviously they hate each other so uh for all you chaos guys out there so like me and we are playing um sorry i rolled we rolled up the mission we have the older packet here uh but it's the same uh cut to the heart was the one that we rolled um so we got the three objectives we're gonna roll uh deployment and all that stuff so for this video i will not have the gopro overshots um uh that's because i left my gopro in my room and this is kind of a, uh, a guerrilla battle report. Uh, just came over to John's to borrow some models. He's like, hey, you guys should test it out. So we're testing it out, see what happens. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, so the end, uh, or sorry, uh, we have just deployed. Uh, so let's go over here to Tim's side. So uh, we both had to place one objective on our side. So uh, Tim went ahead and placed his here in his ruin there. And then over here on the Thousand Sun side, it's on the bottom floor uh, inside this building with all my Rubik Marines. So Tim kind of did, did a split deployment here. Um, he's got all the Nurgle Demons on the left half. And then over here on the right half, he has his uh, Pox Walkers. So um, how are they split up here? The 20-man 10-10 or? Yes, the uh, the ones with the, the red on them are okay. two 10-man units. Oh, the okay. The without the red is, your big... is my big 20-man Okay. Unit. And you got Typhus there. Typhus there. Um, who is your? Them. Oh, your your uh, demon, demon over there. So, old. yeah. And then he's got the big old demon blob there. And so on the Thousand Sun. So he did get to deploy first. I I won the roll off for uh, for deployment. And then on my side, I have Magnus over here with the uh, Zangors. So just kind of blobbed up. I put this armager out of range of the mortars over there, but I doubt the mortars are going to come at him. So, but just in case, you know, just putting them out of the, the way. And then the other armager in this corner. So I like to put the armagers in the corners because um, you can move them 12 inches, right? And then they have a 60 inch range, which means they can basically hit any point in the table if you can get line of sight on it. So um, by putting them in the corners, because um, we've already talked about these are just line of sight blocking pieces, uh, I can just kind of move him up to wherever I need to and, and kind of shoot whatever. Um, and his mortars obviously don't care where I'm at. He's going to shoot at whatever he, he chooses to shoot at. Um, got my Demon Prince of Zinch behind my uh, big old knight here in the middle. And then we've got the Rubric Marines and Ariman hanging out behind them. So... Because I know those Nurglings are going to come in this way, so I need something to kind of counteract that a little bit. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I don't think Rubrics will win in a close combat against anything, so. But you never know. You never know. Um, so, we are deployed. Oh, let me go ahead and get this dice. Um, Tim, are you choosing to go first? I'm I am. thinking that you're going to. So, I'm going to try to seize with these magical blue dice John let me. And I rolled a one. That's totally the opposite of seizing. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you get two turns because I rolled a one. But anyways, yes, <laughs> all right, Tim, uh, we'll move on to turn one. So I did forget to cover our secondaries, which we had to uh, pick during the first turn. So for the Thousand Suns, we picked Reaper, Headhunter, and Old School. Um, and for Nurgle, he took Recon, Big Game Hunter, and Behind Enemy Lines. And that's because of his Nurglings uh, being very, very Nurgly and Nurgling-like. So... Um, so as far as Tim's turn goes, his wave of pox walkers came up this way. Uh, he did. Oh, I got to roll leadership for these guys. Oh, that's terrible. Um, I'm gonna lose another. Nine. Lose. What, I'll lose two? another three. Are they leadership six? Seven. I'm gonna reroll. Oh, I got to roll my damnations too. Um, I lose two. Ugh, that's terrible. Uh, let's pull those two out. All right. Anyways, uh, so I lost, uh, looks like six Zangors from here. Uh, he rolled pretty well for his Plankers Crawlers. Uh, really hurt. Uh, which I knew the mortars were going to get to him, but then I forgot about the Sluggers. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I play the army and I forget about stuff. Um, so that was about it for his shooting. His Psychic Spells, he just got virulent busting on that middle uh, Plague Bearer Blob. And then Miasma Pestilence back there on his um, Demon Prince. Uh, and he did fail Blaze of Putrefraction. He was out of um range for any smites and then over here the nurglings advanced uh that nurgling unit advanced this nurgling unit charged hit my rubrics and i did one wound to him and he didn't do anything back which that's about normal for nurglings they just bounce off stuff but um so yeah uh tim scored one point yeah didn't kill so <laughs> yeah one point well well, you held one. I held one. Oh, you got recon. And I got recon. So yeah, two points. Because you can't get behind enemy lines until turn right, two. Right. Until. Yep. The, but the I mean, it's it's. Ugh, I had to use a CP for that. But I got to roll the packs and damnations on him. I forgot to do that. Um, and then we will come back on the Thousand Suns turn one. So the end of the Thousand Suns. Turn one. Yeah, this is turn one. Um, so the score right now, um, I got a Reaper, I got a Headhunter, I got uh, my old school. I killed, I killed more, and I held one, but he does hold more. Um, yeah, because he's he's outside of three there. Um, but he did hold more because he does have uh, troops there in the middle. And over here. And over there. So um, for my turn, uh, I cast a bunch of spells as 
you know, that's what Thousand Suns do. Um, I was out of line or out of range for Death Hex on the middle squad of Plague Bears there, uh, which was a oversight on my part. I should have moved Ariamon further, but um, eh, is what it is. Um, I did cast some smites. Uh, uh, the biggest thing is that unit of Plague Bears in the very far back behind the PVCs are Doom Bolted which means uh, they can't advance this turn and they have their movement. So they'll be moving four inches this turn, which is good for me because yeah, that's going to uh, hopefully keep those Zangors over there a little longer. But we'll see what happens. Um, obviously, Magnus warp timed himself, uh, got up here. The biggest thing that happened over here, so uh, I placed Magnus in such a way that Typhus was the closest uh, model to Magnus. Um, that way, when I Infernal Gateway, it hit him, uh, did a bunch of wounds to him, killed some... Uh, uh, pox walkers the biggest thing that happened was uh magnus went in you know and i split my attacks which i will tell you is always a, a tricky prospect um uh, put four attacks into typhus and three into the pox walkers rolled my wounds against or i i hit typhus four times and wounded him twice now i sat there and thought i was like okay that's six wounds because typhus was sitting at two wounds at this at this time i was like you know what i'm gonna re-roll one wound now i got three wounds well, Tim, <laughs> he rolled his saves. Uh, I think he failed two, so he took six damage. Then when he rolled his field no paints, he failed just enough that Typhus died. <laughs> I was clutching my butt cheeks there for a second. It was pretty funny. Uh, so Typhus almost lived through Magnus uh, swinging at him. But he did spend two CP beforehand to swing with uh, Typhus into Magnus. And Magnus did take, uh, or, yeah, he took three wounds, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Because I took a wound coming in, so let me go ahead and pull three more wounds. My bad. So, uh, Magnus is now sitting at 12 wounds. Um, now, the funny thing is the Pops Walkers did two wounds to Magnus and uh, one wound to the, uh, yeah, the Demon Prince there. So, go Pops Walkers. Uh, here in the middle, uh, my awesome knight uh, unloaded on the middle Plague Bearers. I was able to whittle them down below 20 uh, in the shooting phase. Then I charged in and killed a bunch more. Uh, I am up to 12 models killed now with my for my vow of carnage because i did spend one cp for that and nothing else uh really happened um i mean i killed some um pox walkers or some nice. nurglings here in the back which yeah oh another thing that happened uh this bottom unit of rubrics did perils i killed three of them um now as far as i understand the unit itself is a psyker so when they perils i think the whole unit has to die but um in order for it to explode. So I just removed the three. I left the sorcerer in there and then one more did run away. So I lost four rubrics for nothing. Because <laughs> I did try to smite. Uh, there was some nurglings there. I wanted to kill one. So that was probably a bad call on my uh, first time playing with rubrics. So um, yeah, perils, bad. Uh, anyways, uh, we'll move to Tim's turn two with so much Nurgle stuff left. <laughs> All right, so the end of Nurgle's turn two. Uh, so he, oh, uh, did you want to move these guys here for recon? Like that? Yes. Okay. So I figured you wanted to do, yep, and you got recon over here. So you did get a recon point, forgot to tally that up. Big game hunter, you didn't get anything there. And behind enemy lines, you get that at the beginning of your turn. So, so beginning of next turn, which that guy will probably be there. <laughs> All right. So the end of Nurgle's, sorry, I had to tally points, uh, Nurgle's turn two. Um, so basically he fell back from the knight there, unloaded a bunch of stuff. Now uh, his dice didn't do so well uh, for the strength of both the flamers. He rolled below strength eight. Um, so even with rerolls, he was unable to wound the knight. Um, the PBC then shot into it. And because I rolled, uh, so for my damnations, I rolled the uh, where I have to target the closest to shoot and charge if I fail it. And then I rolled Galvanized Hull and get one CP each turn uh, traits at, with plus one leadership. So, um, which is really good this round. So because of that, the PBC was unable to wound the knight. And then he charged it in with a PBC, which took four wounds on the charge. And then the, uh, his Demon Prince. Now his Demon Prince did fail Virulent Blessing, which was a big thing. Um, so he was only able to get two wounds on the knight. And then uh, the knight, because of, which I actually I did get one more kill from my Vow of Carnage. Because of Vow of Carnage and because I got charged, I had uh, 18 attacks. So just so you know, Vow of Carnage knight can get just ridiculous amounts of attacks um, each turn. So 
Now over here, the Pops Walker Blobs, they charged into Magnus and they're basically just bogging me down, right? Because I have no way to control this objective uh, as long as these Pops Walkers are alive. Now, um, he did a couple wounds to Magnus, which is funny. <laughs> so Magnus is slowly being brought down by some Pops Walkers, which makes me laugh. Um, Primarch's getting killed by zombies. And then uh, the Demon Prince was unharmed during this filming. And then over here, uh, he killed a ton of Zangors. I think he killed 13 this turn. So um, just tons of Zangors between morale and, and shooting. Um, so now the Zangor blob is down to five dudes. And I did replace a guy. That way I knew who my, uh, my leader was. Um, and yeah, that was about it. So he did not secure any kills, but he did held one. Um, he's most likely going to hold more. We'll see what happens at the end of Thousand Suns turn two. All right, so the end of Thousand Suns turn two. Uh, so I have started killing all the Apostle Walkers over here. Uh, I've wiped out one, uh, the big unit of 20. Um, he still has four left in one unit and three left in the other unit, still uh, just hanging out on the objective. But that's kind of what he wanted to do, right, was hold that objective. Um, now, the big thing here is because the knight did not die, uh, and we, we actually had a big discussion about this, um, he should have sent more stuff at the knight and basically guaranteed, if he had killed that knight, I wouldn't really have a way to control this side of the board. Um, we had a long discussion about it because he's he's still learning how to play Nurgle, and I'm I'm trying to help him along, right? So, uh, but at the same point, I'm not gonna let him win. <laughs> Sorry, Tim, not gonna let you win. But um, a, a win earned is always better than a win given. But um, so I moved back the knight here, and between the uh, actually did the armager? No, the armager didn't. The armager killed four pl plague bears there. Uh, the knight was, like, right up here, and he flamered and killed that last Nurgling and then charged over this way. Um, and the big scrum down here, I was able to kill the last two Nurgling bases uh, down here at the bottom. But I only put four wounds with 21 attacks from this knight into the PVC. So <laughs> you guys do the math on that. Um, and I killed a bunch more here. Uh, he auto-passed them with two CP. Uh, but they are doom bolted for another turn. Now I know he's going to scooch up here and probably uh, be in range for a charge. But I wanted to basically slow down that squad uh, to... I need to clear up that corner of the board. That way I can start working on the middle of the board here. Um, because he does still have a lot of stuff. Now it does look very dire right now because you see his pile of dead stuff. But realize I don't have very many models. Um... I've only got some rubrics here, uh, Armger and Ariman and this knight in this corner. So um, he does still have enough firepower and enough stuff to easily clear out this corner. Now, uh, this turn is going to probably be the turning point. Um, now, right now, I am ahead uh, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points. However, six of those points are secondary points. Um, Tim only has uh, seven points, but he still has a ton of secondaries. He still has all his big game hunter. He's going. He got behind enemy lines for uh, his turn. We already counted it. Um, and recon, he's going to probably end up getting again because he's going to move those play bears up. So um, he still has a lot of points. It does look dire, but I do have a, a knight that's probably going to die. If that knight dies in this corner, um, I don't have much to basically hold all that back. So uh, we'll go to Tim's turn three. All right, so the end of Nurgle's turn three. Yeah, turn three. Uh, so he was able to charge in the uh, Plague Bears, uh, killed off the Zangors here. Um, he did mortar the last Rubric Marine that was down here on the bottom. Um, and between charging and all that fun stuff, he put my knight down to eight wounds. Now, I reciprocated. I sent everything into the uh, the Demon Prince here, and he just barely died. Uh, he rolled, he failed eight, discussed the resilience. He used a reroll. And failed one. And uh, so the Demon Prince almost lived through that onslaught. Which would have been bad for me. Um, and then we, we did talk a lot about it. So the score right now is 11 for Tim. And 13 for the Thousand Suns. So regardless of what the board looks like. Um, it's still a very, very close game, regardless of what you guys might actually think. Um, so I, I'm probably going to get a couple more points this turn. But the biggest thing is I don't have a response to that. Even if I send over the uh, Demon Prince and send both Armagers in the middle there, I probably won't kill those Plague Bears. Um, and he did get the bonus point because he did control the middle and my objective at the end of his turn. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what ends up happening, uh, and we'll see where to go from turn three. Yeah.
All right, so the end of the Thousand Suns turn three. Um, so I was able to kill the PPC over here. It blew up and actually did a lot of wounds. Did three to Arimon, um, hurt the armature for three, and three to my knight. I killed most of the Plague Bearers. Actually, I forgot to add another dice to him for Kelmore. Um Killed most of the Plague Bearers, but then he rolled one, and almost all of them came back because I actually had him at uh, 13 dead. So um, only did one wound to the PPC here, so it lived. In the middle, uh, Magnus started coming back over this way to help out, and uh, he took three wounds going in against the uh, Foul Blight Spawn. He did heal himself for three, um, and I actually did cast Infernal Gateway to hurt the Foul Blight Spawn and, and the uh, Plague Bearers first, and hurt myself for three again, so he's sitting at nine wounds. Um, went in, and then he finished clearing out, and uh, Tim, uh, he was out of CP, and he, uh, he had the banner left there, but... Uh, Obviously, he failed the uh, morale test there, so it would have been really bad. Uh, we talked about it. Had he gotten the one there in the middle, he would have denied me all the objectives, and that would have been real bad. Uh, would have swung the, the score one more point his way, so um, he was hoping he was hoping he would roll it. And then over here, uh, I rolled a five for the charge with the demon prince, so I was not able to get into both units of poxwalkers, uh, just the way this piece of terrain was. Um, and so because of that, I was only able to kill the two-man unit here, which left this four-man unit, and they still hold this objective. So uh, zombies are holding an objective against the demon prince right now. So, um, But the score is actually pretty close. So Tim has uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. He's got 13 points, and I have 19 points. But if you guys see here, uh, he has almost all of his secondaries still to score. So Regardless of what it actually looks like, um, it kind of depends on what happens this turn in this corner. Um, I mean, it's 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 a good game regardless, so I'm having fun. <laughs> so, uh, we'll go to Tim's turn four. Alright, so we called it at the end of the Nurgle turn four. Uh, so basically what ended up happening, he already pulled his stuff. But um, his Plague Bearers charged in. Uh, they killed a couple of the Rubric Marines here. And he actually did kill Ariman with his uh, Spoilpox Scrivener. The biggest thing that happened was uh, he was only able to do three wounds to the knight. Because I did make the one five up save against his Flamer. Which would have killed it. Um, had he killed the knight, I, I think uh, he could have made a good case for staying in the game. But because the knight is still alive, regardless of how tiered it is. Uh, I still have Magnus that's at his second highest tier. I do have a Demon Prince in the back there that's about to control that objective. So we kind of talked it out. Um, what would have ended up happening was I would have ended up getting a max round of five this turn because the uh, the Armager would have moved up. Uh, Magnus would have came over this way between the Knight and Magnus. They would have cleared up this PVC, uh, the Foul Blight spawn there, and probably the Poxbringer. Um, this guy would have just stayed in combat with the Scrivener that was over here. Next turn, I would have lost uh, either this turn or the next turn. I would have lost both of uh, both these Rubric Marines. He would have held this. Um, so he would have killed one and held one the next turn. And then uh, Magnus would have made it over here, turn five, and basically uh, started smiting. And, and uh, slowly, I would have killed the rest of these guys uh, over the, the course of the next couple turns. So, um, But in the end, uh, when we called it, uh, he was up to 16, and I was at 24. So uh, regardless of how the game looked, it was still pretty close there uh, for a while. Uh, he made a Tim made a few key mistakes that we talked about as he made them. Um, and, and I think once Tim learns his list, uh, I'll, he's going to be really good with it. It's a good list. I like it. Uh, I helped him quite a bit with it, and uh, I think he'll do well. So, Tim, what would you think? I, I, had, uh, I thought it was a good game. I was ready to throw in the towel oh, significantly earlier you talked me out of it, and that's probably a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, the biggest thing is you always want to hold into the game. Like, uh, it looks really bad, and, and I, I see where he might have been discouraged, but we talked it out, and we looked at the points, and he was only behind by, like, three, I think, at the point that you at, wanted to, to that, call it. Yes. True. So three points is not a lot. Like, that's just a couple secondaries, and... Um, I, I think you did well. Uh, the secondaries you did pick, I just think dice didn't go your way <laughs> at a few key junctures. Yeah. Um, I mean, what 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 plays would you have done different? There you go. I would have taken probably Kingslayer instead of Big Game Hunter. Okay. Because I believe you can actually choose who you target with Kingslayer. You know, it doesn't have to be. Uh, you might be right. Actually, we have him right here. Kingslayer is. 
Of course, I don't have Kingslayer on here. <laughs> it must be on the... Oh, there it is. Uh, Kingslayer, choose an enemy character model. Yeah, actually. So I would have chosen that... That knight. Oh, uh, yeah. Because it was a character. Exactly. So had you chosen that um, over Big Game Hunter, which I did not realize that. So um, had you chosen that, though, you would have gotten another four points because of where it's at. Which Every four wounds. Would yep. Have helped me quite a bit. Yeah, actually, and that would have been four more points. So that would have put you up to twenty. So it would have been twenty to twenty-three at this point. Um, I mean, I, I still would have won, but that would have given you a lot more points. Um, no, I de definitely agree with that. Um, what else? What else would you have done differently? Uh, I would have changed the way I deployed a little bit. Yeah. I wouldn't have deployed on this side. I yeah. Deployed more towards the middle. Okay. And I would have. I still would have liked to have the Demon Princess behind the PVCs, but I would have the PVCs sideways instead of forwards. That way you would have gotten more inches. That way I would have gotten more inches off. Yeah, yeah, no, that would have been a good idea. Um, yeah, we definitely talked about it. Uh, so some key things that I noticed. Uh, so in the beginning, he had Typhus out here, and he uh, when he moved the Pox Walkers in his advance, he moved them out this way. So what ended up happening was it left a hole for Magnus to get in. And... Um, because of that one thing there, this whole area of pox walkers died. Actually, I think those pox walkers might have been able to chew up, uh, chew some more wounds off of Magnus, and then you know he would have been able to charge Typhus in, um, and help out, help out the uh, pox walkers. Uh, we talked a lot about his deployment, the way he deployed. Um, I told him, you know, always get your, your, you want your princes towards the front, but behind something. Um, so he deployed them too far back, in my opinion, and uh, we talked a lot about focus fire, getting all your things into a key piece. Like, had he killed this knight on turn uh, two, which was very likely <laughs> had everything gone into it, um, had he killed this knight, I think it would have been a very different game. I, he definitely had the board presence, and... Uh, because it took me so long to wipe through those pox walkers, by the time Magnus and the Demon Prince would have been able to get over here to help out, I think he would have thoroughly had control of this table quarter, and there would have been nothing I could have done. Um, but I, d I definitely liked my list. Uh, I, I liked Tim's list, and I thought it was a good game. It was a good... Uh, Regardless of us playing competitive lists, it was fluffy because it was Zinch versus Nurgle. So <laughs> hopefully you guys like that out there. And uh, hope to see you guys in the next battle report. Oh, thanks, Tim. We gotta get. We gotta do the end and handshake. Ah, and we're both going to the tournament together tomorrow. So that's true. Uh, hopefully, chaos does well. <laughs>